here with SNH in the kitchen. If you're new, hello, hi, how are you? If you're coming back, thank you for visiting. We are in the dog days of summer, people, and it is boiling outside. So if you're like me, you have no desire to cook. Well, lucky for you, you clicked on this video because I have five no-cook recipes that are perfect for this time of year. So hang back, put your feet up, grab a cold beverage, and let's get started. One of the things I love about all the recipes I'm showing you today is that they're really interchangeable and very versatile. Most of these recipes share a multitude of ingredients, so it's great to just make this all in one big meal prep day on a Sunday and then have it all week long. For our caprese toast, we'll start with the spicy pesto. You're gonna combine parsley, basil, jalapeno, garlic, lemon juice, Parmesan cheese, soaked pumpkin seeds, and olive oil into a high power blender and blitz. Now we have our pesto all done. I have some tips for you. Don't like it spicy? Omit the heat. You don't have to put in the jalapeno. Or do you part? If you do want a little bit of that pepper flavor, just do as much as you're comfortable with, especially if you have kiddos in the house who don't like the heat. Also, if you need to store this, I highly recommend putting this into an airtight container and layering on a thick layer of your favorite olive oil to sit on top. Make sure that all of the solids from your sauce are pressed down so that way the only thing exposed to air is your olive oil. Seal it, pop it in your fridge or your deep freezer. This will ensure that you have pesto at any moment's notice. Basil oxidizes really quickly and to keep it from turning into a brown and wanting to maintain that vibrant green, all you have to do is make sure you have a nice fat cap. Now onto our toast. Heat a cast iron skillet on high until lightly smoking. Brush two pieces of good quality bread with olive oil and place into skillet seasoned with salt and pepper. Toast bread until lightly golden brown on both sides, remove from skillet and allow to cool slightly. Then layer over top seasoned tomato, burrata, and pesto until you've reached the desired amount for each top. All you have to do now is enjoy. Now, Let's start up on our next recipe, our lemon orzo feta chicken pasta salad. To the bowl of a high power blender, add feta cheese, dried oregano, paprika, lemon juice, fresh dill, and olive oil, and blitz until smooth. Now to thin this out without adding any more oil, we're slowly going to drizzle in some cold water to our feta dressing as it blends until we reach the consistency that we like. Feta is incredibly salty, so you don't need to add any salt from the, from the jump. However, if you do find that after you're done blending, it needs a little bit, go ahead and adjust your seasoning with salt and pepper. Let's get blending. Now we're gonna just go ahead and transfer our dressing to a bowl. If you want it to stay a little bit more vibrant and not turn a sage green color, I would just chop up your dill and um, throw that in at the end. You, by no means do you have to add it in to the blender. I just find that when you add the dill into the blender, it makes for a much smoother, it makes for a more robust dill flavor. I feel like dill is an unsung hero of the herb world. When you have it in a dish, you don't quite always know what it is, but you know you've added something really special. Cook your pasta to package instructions and drain. Then transfer to a mixing bowl, combine with half of your dressing, stir through while still warm, and set aside to cool. Now to finish off our pasta salad, we're gonna add in some wonderful fresh ingredients to your mixing bowl with your orzo. You're going to add two cups of shredded chicken, third cup of Kalamata olives, a half cup of diced heirloom tomato, one Anaheim pepper, and a quarter cup of feta cheese crumbled on up. Mix until well combined, adding in the remaining dressing to help ensure that everything is well coated. Serve and enjoy. Now, let's move on to our spicy peanut noodles. Yum! To a jar with a tight-fitting lid, you're going to add orange juice, soy sauce, sesame oil, honey, grated garlic, grated ginger, peanut butter, rice vinegar, and crushed red pepper flakes. Seal the jar and give it a good shake. Cook your noodles to package instructions. Drain and transfer to a mixing bowl. Pour over half of your sauce, toss together with chopsticks, set aside. All right, our peanut noodles are nice and cool and we're ready to finish off this salad. I 
I love this with fresh vegetables. To your mixing bowl, add green onions, edamame, shredded red cabbage, carrots, cucumber, mango, sesame seeds, and remaining sauce. Stir together until well combined. Serve immediately. Next on our list is our tabbouleh pita pocket. In a mixing bowl, combine equal parts couscous and boiling hot water, along with olive oil, crushed red pepper flake, peeled and crushed garlic, salt, lemon juice, and liquid stock. Let couscous stand until all liquid is fully absorbed. Fluff couscous with a fork, then move on to chopping your herbs. You'll need parsley, dill, and picked mint. Add in a half cup of lemon juice, diced tomato, diced cucumber, stir well to combine, season with salt, and pepper. To serve, split pita in half and smear on your favorite store-bought hummus. Fill your pockets with your tabbouleh and top with crumbled feta. Enjoy! Now on to our final recipe and my personal favorite, fresh summer rolls. We're going to start with our noodles. Boil some water in your kettle and pour over dried rice noodles. Let's sit until softened. To get rolling, what I like to do is to place a tea towel that doesn't have any kind of lint or fuzz, dampen it, and then place that on my work surface. Then I take a large dinner plate and fill up the inner rim with some boiling hot water. And you're just going to pass through your rice paper wrapper until it's slightly softened. Then have fun and do the thing that your mom tells you not to do when you're growing up, which is to play with your food. This is wonderful for entertaining and also great for an easy, fast, and healthy weeknight dinner. There you have it guys, that's five no cook recipes to beat the summer heat. I hope you're staying nice and cool wherever you are and staying safe. Till next time, and staying safe. If you like this video or want to see more like it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like and comment and turn on your notification bell. This is SNH in the Kitchen, until next time, 